So now we're going to think about acid-base chemistry as competition for H+, uh, or proton donors and proton acceptors. What we want to be able to do is look at two molecules and say which species will gain the proton and which one will lose the proton. So in this example, either the H plus is bonded to the organic acid or to the sulfate group. But uh, we will use the Ka values of these acids to work out which way this equilibrium will lie. So Ka for the organic acid is 0.23 and that for the HSO4 minus is 0.01. So what does this mean in terms of which is keener to hold on to the H plus and which is more likely to lose the H plus? The higher Ka value means that the equilibrium lies more towards the product, towards the right hand side, and therefore this top organic acid here is the stronger acid. So in terms of this equilibrium, which way will it lie? Knowing that the organic acid is stronger, well a stronger acid will be a proton donor. So the organic acid will tend to lose its H+, and the equilibrium will favour the products, or the right-hand side. Let's have a look at this example. On the face of it, very similar molecules, both amines, but one has an alkyl group attached. Once again, we're thinking which way will this equilibrium lie. In other words, which of these molecules is going to gain the proton? And to work this out, we need the Ka values. For NH4+, plus, pKa is 9.3, and for the C4H9NH3+, plus, it is 10.8. Now, a larger pKa value would mean a smaller Ka value, since uh, Ka is 10 to, the, 10 to the power minus the pKa. So the Ka value for the NH4+, plus is larger, and therefore that is the stronger acid the stronger acid is more likely to lose the proton, and so this equilibrium would favour the left-hand side. Uh, now an inorganic example with uh, two complex ions, Fe h 20 and Al h 20 And we want to work out which of these would be deprotonated first by hydroxide ions. To do this, we need to know which is the stronger acid, because the stronger acid is going to react first with a base. So the Ka value for the Fe3 plus ion is 6 times 10 to the minus 3, and that for the Al3 plus is 1 times 10 to the minus 5. Therefore, the Ka value for the Fe3 plus is larger. This equilibrium would lie more to the right-hand side, and this is the stronger acid. So the stronger acid is going to react with the hydroxide ions first, which is the Fe3 plus complex. Okay, one more example from me, then a few for you to try. Here we have ethanol and its conjugate base, and phenol and its conjugate base, and we want to know whether the H plus will bond to the ethanol or to the phenol. Uh, the pKa of ethanol is higher than that of phenol, so it is less acidic. Remember, a high pKa value means a low Ka value. Therefore, the phenol is the stronger acid. So what does that mean in terms of this equilibrium? Uh, we know that the phenol is the stronger acid, so that is more likely to lose its H+. So the equilibrium lies towards the weaker acid, i.e. the one with a higher pKa value. We can also work out the equilibrium constant for this reaction, pKa for this equilibrium will be uh, the difference between these pKa's, so 16 minus 9.9, .9, which is 6.1. So K for this, the equilibrium constant for this reaction will be uh, 10, uh, will be 16 minus 9.9, 6.1. So K will be 10 to the minus 6.1, showing that the equilibrium lies strongly to the left-hand side. Uh, here's a few questions for you to have a think about. Uh, the first one says, which species would be protonated first?